In the aftermath of Western Kentucky's devastating tornado outbreak, I've maintained close contact with state and local officials. My staff has been on the ground since the outset of the crisis, helping residents access federal resources and keeping me up to date with any developments. Toward the end of the week, I'll travel back to Kentucky to meet with my constituents and visit the areas affected. The stories coming out of Kentucky are harrowing. But in recent days, we also heard about the generosity, the hard work, and the hope that are helping our state recover. Kentuckians desperately need help to rebuild, so our universities, normally bitter rivals on the court, are rallying together to raise money and gather supplies for relief efforts. This Christmas is shaping up to be exceptionally difficult for children all across Western Kentucky. So churches are organizing toy drives to help make the holidays a little bit brighter. Western Kentucky community organizations are stretched to the limit. So businesses based in the Commonwealth, from distilleries to car manufacturers to insurance companies, have stepped up and donated literally millions. Remarkable stories of survival and resiliency have trickled out of the disaster zone. Last weekend's storm destroyed much of the First Christian Church in Mayfield, but the congregation discovered their communion table and altar cross fully intact while picking through the rubble. A symbol of hope and rebirth survived amid so much pain. Across town, the Mayfield Health and Rehabilitation Nursing Home was physically devastated when it took a direct hit from the tornado on Friday night. But all 74 of the facility's elderly residents survived with only minor injuries. As one staff member said, this was truly a miracle. And in Bremen, Kentucky, when a man visited the wreckage of his home on Saturday, he discovered his grand piano mostly undamaged undamaged despite the storm. Amid the surrounding devastation, he sat down to play and to sing hymns. His songs, shared on social media, warmed the hearts of thousands. These stories of hope have ricocheted across the Commonwealth, bringing smiles and strength to the communities that need them most. And they give me faith that Kentucky will recover from this crisis stronger than ever.